is dr shila tikku speaking about oxidation and reduction in different compounds for class bsc part 2 when a metal compound has salts with it there is electrode potential in the solution and electron with true zero potential is known the system obtained by connecting two electrons having different electrodes is known as cell and difference of potentials which carry a current to follow with either higher potential or lower potential is known as the electrode potential now we can take the example of zinc as zn plus 2 plus 2 electrons and copper which is accepting two electrons and producing pure copper now this is zinc electron and copper electrode the zinc electrode which is undergoing oxidation and copper electrode which is undergoing reduction this type of reactions are known as oxidation reduction reactions in which one compound is oxidized and the other is reduced here it is important to note that the separation of a cell action in oxidation and reduction half reaction is only optical and half reaction is only for a reducing cell as zinc plus copper form zn plus 2 plus cu the total electrode force of cell is the algebraic sum of both the electrode potentials and these electrode potentials when are positive then there is the production of energy and when it is a negative there is the consumption of energy now in the consumption and the production of energy the oxidation and the reduction re reactions go on simultaneously in such type of reactions we have a long list of compounds such as zinc iodine potassium sodium aluminum then again zinc hydrogen electrodes calcium silver and cobalt calcium manganese oxygen fluoride electrons now we can use of redox potential data the standard reduction potential data is very useful in calculating or influencing the oxidation reduction reactions these type of oxidation reduction reactions the oxidation is added and reduction is negative it is minus now we have the analysis of redox cycle redox cycle are the cycles in which we have energy anatropy and many such things in energy and anatropy we have a cycle which is known as bone haber cycle and this bone haber cycle has the production of energy and also the consumption of energy in which a compound is sometimes changed into gas or changed into solid and as well as it is changed into liquid now we have the latest form of the reduction cycle for halogens in halogens also they get converted from liquid to gas and then they get converted from gas to an, uh, again into a liquid form these type of compounds are undergoing oxidation reduction reactions and these oxidation reduction reactions are very useful and contemporary in production of gaseous states